this, this workshop shows you how you can actually encode your own, your own operations on data trees. So what we'll do is we will mimic flatten and graft using a path mapper. Uh, I will start with the path mapper because I think it's, it's the thing most people already know about. It might behave a little bit differently than the one you're used to, unless you have, you have the very latest version. But a path mapper, uh, what it does is it takes a tree and it applies a transformation to it, or a mapping, that turns it into a different tree that looks differently. For example, I can take a, I can create a null mapping from left to right. And that looks like a semicolon b maps to a semicolon b. a and b, that's just these two numbers. In fact, when, when I make a mapping, I don't have a choice about what goes on the left-hand side. It has to always be curly bracket, and then a variable, semicolon, variable, semicolon, and then closing with another bracket. And the number of these variables has to match the number of integers in the tree. If I write something else, then it will not actually work for this particular tree. If I just restrict myself to A, then it will actually ignore all the data because none of it matches this pattern. So, null mapping. It doesn't, in fact, do anything. It, it says, this is the way it looks now. And on the right, it's the way I want it to look, which is the same. So, in fact, the tree we get is the same on the left as on the right. If you want to flatten this tree, what we actually want is to have everything be at the same number. In fact, always at number zero. So we go from what we have now to everything being in index or, or in, in path zero. And this essentially flattened our tree. It now has only one, one branch and it has all the items in there. And if I plug it in, you can see that in fact the lines go like before. And then even they jump across the grid to this size here. So it's all one single giant list. Uh, if I want to only flatten the points in this grid and the points in this grid, but keep them separate from each other, I can still do this. I can take this tree and say, well, I want all of these points, sorry, let me highlight that, all of these points to be merged into zero, and all of these points to be merged into one. This mapping essentially ignores the second number, right? It, it takes the first number and, and uses it to represent its final destination, and the same here. But the second number is, it just disappears, it goes away. So if I remove the B from the target mapping, in fact, I have two branches, one containing all the points in the first grid, and the second containing all the points in the second grid. And there's no more dotted line here, and it starts again from zero. All right, that's, that's your basic path mapping. Uh, you can do more with this. In, in, instead of just mapping branch numbers, you can also map numbers, or, or the, 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 the index numbers. So if I create a null mapping, I can actually go in here and say, well, I'd like to add my index, which is a square bracket, i square bracket, and please always map it into, into item zero. So every single item in every single list is now mapped into item zero. And this will look like, ah, uh, it didn't work. I wonder why. Sure enough. I'm sorry, I think I may have to use uh, parentheses instead of square brackets. That's uh, my mistake there. Yes, there we go. So now we're taking all of our data, including the index of every item within each branch, and mapping it into always item zero. Now what happens is that the first item in, this, in the first branch is written to index zero, and the second item 
is written to index 0, and it overrides the first item. So the second item overrides the first item, and the third item overrides the second item. And basically every item says, no, I'm here, and then they say, no, I'm at index 0, and eventually the last item wins, because it's the last one to be written, so it ends up at index 0. This is an example of having a mapping with indices as well as, as paths. And we can do something a bit more interesting than this. Uh, you may, may be familiar with the flip matrix component, which takes a tree and treats it as, as though it was a 2D matrix of values, and then it sort of swaps rows and columns around. Now it fails here because this tree is too complicated. Sorry, let me go back there. It's too complicated for it to work on. It says that all paths may only differ at a single locus, meaning that, that all of these paths may only have a single number that changes between them. But here, the first number changes because it's zero here and one there, and the second number changes because it's zero here and then it changes to one, two, three, four. So flip matrix cannot handle this layout. It could handle it if we use only a single grid. Hide that. Put it back in there. Ah, uh, oh yes, and then the multiple numbers have to get out there. Okay. Now we have a single grid, and now flip matrix actually works, and it turns this grid from something which has nine branches and thirteen items per branch into the opposite, something with thirteen branches with nine items per branch. So in effect, where the first the numbers went in columns, now we go in rows. But as mentioned, this doesn't work if you have more than one grid, right? If you have both this one and a second one. This breaks. That's no mapping. And flip matrix cannot handle this. But we can write it in in a mapping function, in a custom mapping function. What we'll do is we'll include the index, and we will swap the last two. So in fact, this column becomes the new row, and the old rows become the new columns. And now we have successfully, for both grids, uh, flipped rows and columns from left to right. All right, that's the, uh, the path mapper. Uh, I will read the questions now. So if you have any big questions, uh, start. That's true. This, uh, this is new since the last version, or maybe even before that. Uh, there was always null mapping, but I added a bunch of other presets that have a look at what's on the left, and then and a mimic that what's on the right. So you can create a flattened mapping easily. It, it, it tells you how. And the same with graft. Or you can create a, a trim mapping, which removes the last, the last number, which in this case was flattening. It was sort of partially selective. There's reverse mapping, which uh, in fact takes the, the tree leaves the tree intact, so it's still a, a semicolon b. But the items are now reversed. We're counting backwards. So if you do this, the items are at the top and go back to the bottom. Uh, this, this essentially mimics the, uh, the, the reverse list component, which is here. All right, it does the same thing as reverse list. And renumber uh, takes all, the, all the, the paths and just renumbers them from 0 all the way down to 17. Or if you want to start at, uh, at 5, you can say, well, please, 5 plus path index. And now we go from 5 all the way to 22. So actually, these things, they support expression. So you can even uh, choose to, to, uh, to, to square the path index. So you go from 1, 4, 9, 16, and so on and so forth.
if you don't include the, the, the index bit here, the, the parentheses, i, close parentheses, then, then all, all branches will, will, will be left intact. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that if you don't include the i. But if you do include the i, then you may either get items that overwrite other items, or you may get bits where the tree actually gets empty spaces in there. For example, if I include the i, and then say here, well, let's go back to a, b, i times 2. Now my, now my lists are longer than they were before. Before they were, they had a list that had a length of 13, and now they're 25. And in fact, what happens is that in between every two points, there's now an empty space. There's a null, because item 0 got placed at 0 times 2. Item 1 was placed at 1 times 2, either here. Item 2 was placed at 2 times 2, or 4. So there's all these gaps now in our data tree. And you can see here as well that it goes from 0 to 2 to 4 to 6 to 8, rather than 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So you can both overwrite and you can create gaps in a tree using this kind of notation. Okay, 